Welcome, my name is Dr. Ryan Christensen. We are here with Mary, and we would love to share Mary's story. So, Mary, uh, when did you get started with Voyo? Um, back in January of 2015. So okay. it's been a little over three years. Three years, okay. Yeah. And then recently you had a, was it a, a rash or a skin condition? That yes, came? it uh, started in October. And it started around my mouth here and then around my eyes. And then I started developing a red rash all on my forearms. Uh, and I, throughout the course, I actually had a rash everywhere, even down to my feet. So when I came uh, to see Dr. Rob, um, he did muscle testing and other testing and determined that I had pesticides, herbicides, uh, radiation from the Japanese nuclear plant mm -hmm. um, and so he treated that and with FCT okay. uh, and then um, over the course and he also put me on anti-inflammatory uh, diet okay. um, and so you know it didn't clear up overnight but my rash from the neck down went away mm -hmm. um, and then um, my face was still inflamed. It would get a little bit better and then it would inflame and I finally said, you know, I'm eating so healthy. Mm -hmm. Why is my face doing this? My eyes would swell shut and, and he finally said, maybe it's the histamines in food, which mm -hmm. I said, there's histamines in food? Mm -hmm. And when he gave me the list, it was like, okay, yeah, I'm eating strawberries, avocados, kale, spinach, and uh, so then he put me on an antihistamine diet. So I was kind of on a combo diet. And uh, eventually, I mean, with the first FCT, mm -hmm. got rid of the herbicides, pesticide, and radiation. And then with the histamine diet, uh, antihistamine diet, uh, that went away on my face. But it's still a very slow process. And uh, if I eat it's a pepper, on something yeah. and that it'll flare up and that. so it's still a process mm -hmm. and he's still treating me for different things that probably hinder my healing you know mm -hmm. but I'm overall I'm very happy with the results and that now and that because it was pretty bad I, I didn't even want to go outside you know so. compared to I saw a picture compared to yes. before to, yeah, to now and it right it's cleared up a, a lot oh that. well the person who cuts my hair for the last 30 years said, if I'd seen you on the street, I wouldn't have recognized you. Really? So, you know, that said a lot. Yeah. You know, it, it didn't hurt, it didn't itch, mm -hmm. but it was just my skin was flaking off I, and uh, so rapidly. Yeah. All right. Well, any, any encouragement to uh, people that aren't currently going to Vallejo? Any encouragement to, to have them come on in? Well, sure, because I know that um, if I, I could have gone to a dermatologist, which everybody was encouraging me to do, mm -hmm. and I probably would have received some kind of steroid cream, something, um, and it probably would have cleared it up a little, maybe, maybe not at all, I don't know, but I wouldn't have gotten to the root problem, mm -hmm. and it would have been something that I would have, steroids aren't something that you want to be on for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I was just happy to get to the bottom of what was causing the problem and that because sometimes those uh, issues that you don't treat mm -hmm. grow into other issues and that that then become something that maybe isn't treatable anymore and that. so I highly encourage it, it was very natural um, didn't have to take medications and um, you know it, and it was a good testament to people. Normally, when people go, maybe they'll have intestinal issues, and you can't really see that. But I was a walking advertisement for Vallejo because I went from looking like not myself to, wow, people just would go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was good. You know, it, it made me feel good, and I was happy to say, well, this is what happens when you go to a naturopath. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. that's great. So, well, Mary, thank you for sitting down with us. Thank no you problem. for sharing your story. All right, thank you.